Yeah, welcome back to the winner's enclosure. First leg of the place accumulates and a very nice win over here by number 14, Stormy Winter. Well done to David Neverhazen. Good to be speaking to him again. Warren Kennedy, unfortunately, hasn't made his way back. I'm hoping uh, that he'll come back in the next few seconds, but we will be on standby. So, Davey, we'll talk to you first. Very nice win by this individual. Of course, um, he only had the barrier trial, so we can't really give too much confidence. Yeah, no, sure. Look, the barrier trial, and that was also a little way back. Um, you know, we needed to wait for his knees to close. He's a nice horse. He's over 17 hands. Um, you know, he's a big baby. He's, he's, he's still got so much to learn, and we haven't pressed him because he's, you know, we've had to protect him. Uh, but at some stage, we have to bring them out, and we have to see if we've got anything that's capable to go into the, uh, like the Dingons and that. And he's shown good enough work. I think uh, Warren said that, um, you know, he's so green in the running. Uh, and he ducked from the, the post and that, that um, he, he could have won it easier. But, you know, the jockey had to use all of his jockeymanship to get him home. And I appreciate that. And uh, thanks to Warren, a great ride. Uh, Zane Kirsten, thank you very, very much for bringing uh, the horse to me. Um, he's a really nice individual. And, I'll, and you know, we, uh, not we, but I think, you know, every, the word was out that he could run. Um, not everybody got their, their money on, but uh, the guys that did, I suppose, good, good luck to them. And... Uh, just a big thanks to Zane, and I appreciate it. And I just uh, what I like so much about his win this afternoon is obviously that baby was relentless up in front, but at no point in the race did he lie down. Yeah, look, I think Warren felt that at any at any time he could quicken it up, quicken him up again. But you know, he's uh, he's still soft. We haven't climbed into him. He still has to furnish out. He's a big horse, a big horse like that. You know, you can expect it. Uh, it looks like he's looking for further even. Um, but uh, you know, we'll take it one day at a time, and hopefully. This brings him on a lot. Um, I must say thanks to Ascot Stud as well. Dave, you're doing a great job at the moment. So just obviously a hearty congratulations from us and the rest of the fra racing fraternity. Just from your side, I thought your next best horse like Hot August. Um, Hot August should give a really good account of himself. Um, I see we got that uh, gem cut in the race. Um, it's, it's competitive. I think uh, I'm hoping he'll run in the first three. He's been doing well, old boy. But um, if he places, I'll be happy. If he wins, I'll be ecstatic. Um, I've also got Achilles, got a place chance. And at the back end there, we've got uh, uh, hit for six. And, you know, he, he's got the course record in the maiden, maiden plates. Um, so he, he can improve, and I expect him to. And, he's, you know, he, obviously the distance is correct and, and further. So maybe he can also run a place for us. Thank you for the transparency. As always, from myself, it's easy on our job and to the punters as well, Dave. And hopefully we'll chat to you later. Sure. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Always great to uh, get the transparency from the trainers. We really do appreciate it. Thanks very much to David Neverhazen. You heard it from the horse's mouth. They're expecting a decent afternoon throughout. Hit for six being one of the inclusions. And, of course, Hot August must be another big runner on the program later on. But a good one, yeah. Stormy winter. We heard some strong talk over there. They might even be looking for the Dingons a bit later on. And uh, why not? He's won a good race out here this afternoon. Obviously, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but he knuckled down and he got the job done. And be with the second horse as well. That horse won't be uh, too far from winning from the Michael and Adam as he yards. So good start to the PA. Up next, the big one. The one that everybody wants to catch on a Thursday afternoon, and that being the pick six.